Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It has been a while. I know it has been a minute. I am so happy to be back. I feel blessed to be sitting down here um, and filming again, playing around with makeup. I have no words, but I'm back. First of all, happy new year guys. Cheers. I'm drinking coffee at 12 a.m. Uh, but cheers to a new year, a new freaking year. But cheers to the new year guys. I am back as a mom. I cannot believe it. Today's video guys, I'm going to be trying out a whole bunch of new makeup, new releases, products that I thought I was going to review last year, a couple weeks ago, um, that I was going to do like individual reviews on, but I didn't get to do that because pretty sure you guys know I was in the hospital. After I gave birth, I had two surgeries and things kind of went down south. I'm gonna do something fun. We're not gonna cry. We are gonna have a good time, play around with makeup. I'm gonna share this bomb ass highlight with you guys. I have this eyeshadow tutorial using the new um, Ola Chola palette by ColourPop. Before we get started into the video, guys, if you are not yet a part of T Squad family, please subscribe in the link below. Hit the notification bell so YouTube alerts you when I do upload which is three times a week every single week i'm definitely trying to get back on schedule upload my three videos a week start the year off right you know what i mean um so subscribe if you haven't done so already also follow me on instagram snapchat you guys always get to see more of my personal life on there i share pictures of liam of my family if you guys follow me there then you guys saw a glimpse of my birth, birth vlog i did share some very traumatizing videos of me pushing and in pain and all of that jazz by the way i didn't have a normal vaginal delivery i did have a c-section an emergency c-section but i also pushed and i also opened and yeah things got a little crazy but anyways if you want to learn how to recreate this eye makeup look if you want to know the products on my skin do you want to know what i think of these new launches then let's go ahead and get started okay so we're gonna get started i have my mug of coffee i feel like we cannot start the year without the coffee nice and hot i love this mug you can get this on amazon this isn't even mine actually this is jesus he got this gifted for christmas happy new year's everybody i hope you guys have an amazing 2020 I feel so happy and i feel so blessed to be here filming back at it back on the grind anyways guys today we are going to be trying out a couple of new makeup products i know i'm kind of late but to start off i'm going to take this elf happy hydration cream this is the new one that has cannabis sativa i want to say i don't know but that's what the packaging on this one looks like it's basically the same one as the one in the blue bottle that i really really like um, the only thing is that this one I think is supposed to be more hydrating. It doesn't smell like anything. I'm just gonna take some and I'm gonna apply some all over my skin. I'm just gonna go ahead and massage this. Get my face nice and hydrated for foundation. Alright guys, now we're gonna move on to primer. I'm gonna go ahead and take the e.l.f puff puff primer this is also new from the um, hemp derived cannabis sativa line so this is supposed to be a nourishing face primer that helps the skin for makeup or it preps the skin for makeup you guys know that i'm a fan of the jelly pop do primer um, i do feel like elf has a lot of very good products that i actually really really like so i'm excited to try this out doesn't smell like anything either i'm gonna go ahead and take one pump and it almost feels like like a lotion it's a little thick i'm gonna go ahead and apply this all over i'm pretty sure a lot of you guys are wondering where have i been at if you guys are ride or dies and you guys have been following me you guys know i gave birth on november 19th that's exactly when i gave birth so i've been away from youtube for like a month and a half to two months i want to say all right guys so this primer is actually very hydrating but i don't know i'm not a fan of it it almost like crumbles up on your fingers so the best way to apply this i would say is to like pat it onto your skin rather than blending it just because if you blend it 
if you're going to get those crumb like i don't know it almost like gets crumbly you're gonna get it all over the place so pat with this primer um while we chat i'm gonna go in with foundation i'm gonna take the elf um flawless finish foundation i have it in the shade vanilla this is actually one of my all-time favorite foundations this shade is light with golden undertones just in case you're interested i do gear more towards like the yellow base foundations i'm going to apply that much and i'm going to go ahead and blend it out with my sponge so i have been gone for a while obviously birth or labor didn't go as planned obviously i feel like sometimes we all have a plan of how we want things to go and sometimes things just don't end up going how you want them to go and that's exactly what happened in my case i had two surgeries done um, and that's also one of the reasons why I haven't been back because I've obviously been trying to heal. I'm not fully 100% heal. My cut is still opened. Um, I'll, if I do do like a birth vlog because I do have some footage like from the labor delivery. Um, if I do do that video then I'll share everything that went down. Why I had the surgeries right now. I want to focus on more positive things makeup you know things that make me happy not things that make me sad all right guys so moving on to concealer i'm going to go ahead and take this new born to glow concealer i was going to do like an individual review on a lot of these products but i decided not to and i decided to include them all in one video because i did ask you guys on instagram and you guys really just wanted to see them all in one video get it over with they're not like new new launches a lot of these like launched a while back um, but we have these two new concealers which first thing i will say as part of my mini review here is that this is 0.17 fluid ounces this is so tiny on camera it looks almost like a decent size but it's actually very very tiny and it has a very minimal product in here this is part of the born to glow line this is the radiant concealer from nyx i got mine in the shade light ivory which i don't know if it's going to match me but we'll see let's come in this type of applicator with a little sponge which can be i guess not sanitary uh, but i'm just gonna go ahead and squeeze some out and kind of highlight my under eyes i'm going to highlight the center of my face just like that and now i'm gonna go ahead and blend this out i might do a birth vlog i might not who knows um it was a very traumatizing experience to be very honest with you guys so i don't know if i am going to be doing a birth vlog but if i do then i'll kind of share with you guys why i had two surgeries and everything that went down i also have videos of everything actually very raw i feel like a lot of the times people don't share like the ugly and the bad side of labor and delivery but this concealer blended out really nicely i just think it's not worth it for the amount of product that you get i want to say this does retail for nine dollars i could be wrong i'm also going to open up the dark shade that i got just to contour with so this one i got in the shade warm honey we'll see if it is dark enough i'm gonna go ahead and blend it out this one i want to say it's a little bit orange for my liking it's a little too warm i think i could have gone with like a different shade me and jesus wanted to start vlogging um and kind of share like liam with you guys i don't know if that's something that you guys would want to see like vlogs from us we were thinking of starting like our own vlogging channel but I don't know. I don't know how that's gonna go. I feel like we're still thinking about it. So this concealer does blend out really nicely. It blends out seamlessly. That there's no marks or anything, but I do feel like it's not full coverage. I would say this one's more of a medium coverage. For the amount of product that you get, I don't really think it's worth it. That's just my opinion. I do have some mommy content of videos coming up, like a what's in my diaper bag, like what I carry for Liam. So stay tuned for that if you're a mom and you're into that kind of content. I kind of want to switch it up a little bit and now that i'm a mom i kind of want to include more mommy content and more stuff like that go ahead and set my skin with my normal powder this is the wet and wild powder so i had to switch rooms as far as my filming room 
that's why we have a backdrop and we'll probably have a backdrop for a while until my cut completely heals and I'm able to bend down and do more stuff just because in the other room I did have like the shelves already up and installed and everything and I had painted the wall and everything and now I have to redo it on this wall which I probably won't I don't know to be honest okay that is that now we're gonna move on to the bronzers so we have the shade LA which is this one right here and this one does have more of a red undertone I actually really really like this I also love the detail that ColourPop puts into their packaging I feel like ColourPop is my all-time favorite brand when it comes to eyeshadow palettes and the reason being is because one their quality like the quality is so good and two they are super inexpensive they're super affordable and not to mention the quality you guys this is so freaking pretty hola chola and like the print is so pretty it's how they actually put a lot of work and dedication into the palette it has a mirror like hello there's more detailing in here you also have the names on the front and on the back which a lot of palettes don't even carry mirrors or the names their prop is always super affordable and they give really good quality i've never tried their bronzers before so i'm excited um, and then we also have the shade 310 and dana packaging is also very pretty it's very detailed i feel like bandanas were definitely a thing in like the 90s this one is geared more towards very 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 light skinned people like very fair i feel like i can pull off this one but i'm gonna go in with both just so we can see so i'm gonna go in with the shade 310 It's a warm bronzer, but it doesn't really do much for me. It also just looks too orange for my liking. Now I'm going to go in with the shade LA, which is the one I'm excited for, just because I am a fan of red undertone bronzers. So This is definitely a shade that you can use to contour with. You just have to be very careful because... It is very pigmented, you guys. I went with blush, and I'm going to take the Kylie blush in the shade of Batty on the block. I see a lot of Instagrammers use this shade, so I was actually very excited to try it on myself. Okay, guys, so now we're going to move on to the eyes. And... I went ahead and did this eye off camera just so we can speed up the process and I also did my brows. I'm going to start off with the shade Cholita which is this one right here. Just a perfect transition shade. I'm going to go ahead and apply this on my crease, windshield wipe promotions back and forth. Guys, the entire month and a half that I was gone, um, I didn't wear any makeup. I actually started wearing makeup on Christmas day that's when i started to apply makeup like the first time now i'm going to go ahead and take little b which is a little bit darker than the first one just popping this on the crease because it's going to help the rest of the colors blend also love this palette because it's definitely like an everyday palette but you can also create nighttime looks like obviously this one so just like that now i'm going to just jump into the shade chula which is a brown shade. Can you guys see that? And I'm gonna begin by applying this on the outer V. With whatever is left, I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it right here on the inner part, focusing the majority of the shadow on the outer V. Now, before I continue, I'm going to take a brush and I'm going to take that same shade and I'm going to go ahead and run it on my lower lash line. I'm going to connect the bottom with the top here. I took some of Loca, which is the terracotta shade, and I'm just running it on the bottom lash line. Now I'm going to take a different brush and I'm going to pick up the shade Loca. And I'm going to ever so lightly just run it right here 
on top of that brown. I want that shade to peek through just like that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take a clean brush and I'm gonna go ahead and further blend that out. Now I'm going to take more of the shade Ruka, which is the dark brown. And I'm going to begin to intensify the outer V of my eye. Once we've done that, I'm going to go ahead and take a angled brush and I'm going to pick up the shade Sad Girl, which is, it's not black like this one, but it's almost like a gray black, if that makes sense. But I'm going to go ahead and pick that up and I'm going to go ahead and stamp it very close to my lash line to kind of make it a little bit more sexy, a little bit more night out. I missed filming so much, you guys, but at the same time, I kind of feel like I lost momentum, I guess you can say. Like, I lost the rhythm of things. Like, I'm here, like, I'm sitting down, and I'm not going to sit here and say I forgot how to film, but I kind of did, you know? I don't know. It's hard to explain. Now, I'm going to pick up that same shade, and I'm going to go ahead and stamp it on my lash line. Just like that. Now I'm going to pick up a little smoky, which is the black one. And I'm going to do the same thing. And I'm going to take a small uh, blending brush and I'm going to go ahead and blend that out. I'm going to take a fluffy brush and I'm going to pick up the shade Shy Girl, which is like a white kind of cream color. And I'm going to pop this on the center here to kind of clean that area. We're not really doing like a cut crease, but we're kind of mimicking the cut crease, if that makes sense. I'm going to go ahead and take the NYX um, High Glass Illuminating Powder in the shade Moon Glow. This is a highlighter. It can get really intense. Like I'm going to show you guys on my cheeks right now. I actually am in love with this highlight, you guys, because it is so freaking creamy. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and take that on a pencil brush. And I'm going to go ahead and apply some right here on my inner, inner tear duct. I'm going to apply some on my brow bone. For lashes, I'm going to go ahead and take the Makeup Shack in the style Dubai. Those are some of my favorite lashes. Last but not least, I'm going to go ahead and take some Lash Princess by Essence and I'm going to go ahead and apply some. I was also going to start filming about a week ago and I got a sty on my eye, which I still have it, but I actually popped like the pimple that was inside my eye and like put started to come out. I know TMI, but it kind of is a little better. It's not 100%, but I need a film. I'm going to go ahead and set the skin and for that I'm going to go ahead and take the Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Setting Spray. And to finish everything off I'm going to go ahead and take the highlighter. I love this stuff you guys. Well first of all I'm going to go ahead and press that setting spray. I'm going to go ahead and take some of this highlighter and start applying it. It is so freaking pretty, guys. I feel like everybody needs this highlighter. Guys, yes, we're now going to move on to lipstick. I have these new liquid lipsticks by Kylie. But I don't know how I feel about the tone of that. I kind of want to do a nude, but I also kind of want to do something dark. And I'm going to go ahead and take the Ginger by Kylie. This is one of my favorites. I actually restocked. I placed an order on her website when I was on bed rest and I got this one. All right guys, and this is the finished and completed look. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. I actually really like how everything looks. I love the eyes. It's definitely my vibe, definitely up my alley. As far as the palette, I actually really, really like it. I obviously recommend it. I love the whole aesthetic of the palette. I love the detail on it. Um, and not to mention that these are definitely shades that are 
very wearable, very everyday like. I feel like you can definitely create day looks as well as nighttime looks. This is definitely my signature look. This is the look that I'll do when I don't really know what to do. Huge shout out to Becca G and ColourPop. ColourPop never fails, to be honest. I love love their formula as far as the concealers i feel like these were definitely a pass for me i feel like there's definitely better concealers out there on the market that are just more full coverage and then two that have more product inside of them because definitely 0.17 fluid ounces of product is a little bit so i would pass on these as far as the bronzers from ColourPop, i actually really like them i prefer the shade la just because 310 is definitely a bit more light in color and I just see myself using this one more. As far as the NYX um, highlighters, the finishing powder we didn't try it on camera uh, but I, by me swatching it, it says finishing powder in the shade light. It does have a sheen to it um, as you guys can see there. I don't know if you guys can see but this reminds me, the whole concept and everything just reminds me of the Jaclyn Hill um, what is it the moon glow powders or something i don't know it's the powder it's not the highlight uh, but it's the powder one that she talks about um so that's what that one is reminding me of i'm pretty sure it's a dupe to one of those jaclyn hill powders i just need to purchase it and kind of do a comparison on it but i'm pretty sure just because the concept and the shade are pretty much identical but what i really 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 love and i recommend all of you guys get is definitely this right here this right here is the NYX Cosmetics High Glass Illuminating Powder in the shade Moon Glow. I believe they have three shades, but I love this one. Like I said, it is what I'm wearing on my skin today. It's very creamy to the touch, you guys. It's like super, super creamy. Feels so buttery on the pan. That's the shade right there. I'm going to go ahead and swatch it right there. Can you guys see that? Yeah, you guys can definitely see that. As you guys can see, it's more of like a cream highlight, but it definitely goes very well on top of powder, as you guys saw. It's a very smooth highlight. It's not going to ex accentuate like texture, pores, or anything like that uh, because of the creaminess that it has. I think those were all of the products that I used that are new or like new to me. Please let me know what you think of these products down below in the comment section. Also, subscribe if you haven't done so already. Click that bell so YouTube alerts you when I do upload, which is three times a week, every single week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I really hope you guys have an amazing new year. I wish you guys nothing but good things, health, happiness. That's all that matters, you guys. Uh, but yeah, guys, I really hope you guys have an amazing day. Happy new year, and I will catch you guys very soon in my next one. Bye, guys.